Dirt Rally was released to critical acclaim on PC last year. The smooth controls, great use of licenses, and satisfaction as you round the corner, stirring up a cloud of dirt, all made for a stellar game. Console players looking for an amazing rally racer should make note of this one. Rumored to be in development After the release of Forza 6 last year, it stands to reason that Forza Horizon 3 will grace Xbox Ones around the world sometime this year. This spin-off series breaks away from the franchise's track racing roots and sets players free in a massive open world. The Gran Turismo series is famous for a reason. Its meticulous attention to detail, fantastic control, gorgeous cars, and tracks ripped straight from the real world have always created fantastic games. Gran Turismo Sport is the next series in the storied franchise, offering more cars, more modes, more features, and best of all, VR support. Racing games always try to create the most realistic, faithful experience possible, and Assetto Corsa is taking this to the next level. It already saw the light of day on PC last year, but it's finally making its way to the millions of console users this year. Not yet announced, but likely. This could be the last F1 title from the series Shepherds Codemaster Studios, so expect all the stops to be pulled out. Racing down the oval tracks, close enough to touch the concrete, and weaving your way through the horde of other drivers has only gotten better over the years, but with the technology currently available, we have high hopes. Released on consoles late last year, Need for Speed rebooted the classic racing franchise, casting players as a rookie in the rough and tumble street racing scene. It used actual racers in unique FMV sequences, creating an experience unlike anything the series had previously delivered. Rally Racing star Sebastian Loeb is putting his name on this upcoming racer, hoping to immerse players in the rough and dirty world of rally racing. Like many other licensed car games, the main goal is to create the most authentic experience possible. The first Project Cars took the racing community by storm. It offered up incredibly customizable gameplay, incredibly tight controls, beautifully intricate cars, and some of the best driving we've seen in a while in a game. Project Cars 2 was upping the ante. More cars, more tracks, more options, and so much more is promised for this elegant follow-up. Street driving is a dangerous, thrilling pursuit, and World of Speed is looking to translate this feeling of adrenaline and freedom to a massive online world. Racing some of the world's fastest cars through narrow streets, city parks, and some of the world's most famous tracks promises to look great, control even better, and capture the purity of racing. Distance presents players with one simple objective, get to the end of the course, though this is easier said than done. Each track is filled with saw blades, laser beams, walls that appear out of thin air, and various other tricks and traps. The gameplay is fast, precise, constantly engaging, and above all, difficult. Flat Out has always been about one thing, finishing the race no matter the costs. You'll put rubber to asphalt, spinning around corners, slamming into other drivers, and totaling cars in as grisly a way as possible. Valentino Rossi quickly built up a name for himself in the MotoGP world, eventually cementing his place as one of the best. Valentino Rossi the game will guide players through his illustrious career, letting them relive every close finish and every triumphant victory. What's better than racing on the ground? How about racing on the walls or even the ceiling? Trackmania is good, old-fashioned arcade fun. Mastering each track, memorizing every turn, and landing each jump takes practice and skill. But the series is known for its over-the-top, mind-bending racing, and Trackmania Turbo looks like it will deliver on all fronts. Next car game, Wreckfest, doesn't want to bother with guiding cars safely around corners and down straightaways. It wants to destroy them as thoroughly as possible, in as many ways as possible. 
As you race down the track, you don't have to worry about safety or staying away from your competitors. The Official Motocross Video Game it's easy to tell when a developer is truly invested in a project, and the team working on MXGP2 is channeling its intense love of motocross into what will hopefully be the game to define the genre. It's officially licensed, meaning that it can create a motocross experience that can truly capture the look, feel, and intensity of ripping through the dirt. This one is pretty straightforward, but that doesn't make it any less awesome. Tearing through the dirt, leaning into turns and landing jumps. The feeling of swiftly overtaking the biker in first place at the last second, or sliding around a tough turn never gets old, and Moto Racer knows how to capture the adrenaline and precision of the sport. Racing isn't the real objective in this kickstarted driving game, survival is. Drifting through neon tunnels, frantically trying to dodge all manner of obstacles, and generally trying not to crash. This type of game is great when you want a little bit of a challenge that you can't get from racing against AI. Red Bull Air Race is a decently simple concept. Choose your plane, enter a race, and try to be the best. The easy to pick up controls, variety of crafts and tracks, and clean graphics all come together to make a fun game. Have you been patiently waiting for Sony to release the next Wipeout? Well, you may be waiting for a while, but the next big thing has arrived. Formula Fusion puts players in the seat of a sleek, futuristic race car that hovers over the track, glides around turns, and can hold a variety of explosive weapons. Speeding down the highway, bludgeoning enemies to death is consistently fun. Road Redemption doesn't take itself seriously, and that's part of what makes it so great. Jumping between buildings, chasing after getaway cars, and blowing up everything in your path can be dumb fun, but that's the point. 